Welcome to the wonderful world of the Growing Dome. We've been building Growing Dome greenhouses since 1989 in the Rocky Mountains of Pagosa Springs, Colorado. And lastly, what do you want to know before you buy your Growing Dome greenhouse? So, first thing is to see how much sunlight you get in your location. In the winter, the dome is essentially solar powered, and so you will need four to five hours of, of clear sunlight in order for it to be able to grow year round. If you have a few trees to the south, perhaps you might lose the sun for you know, an hour or two here and there in the middle of the day or morning or evening. That's not too big a deal. But if you have um, a very limited solar horizon, you will have to think of putting some auxiliary heat. But don't worry, the dome is so energy efficient, it uses a lot, lot less heat than a regular greenhouse. And also, if you have a lot of cloud or very, very low temperatures, say you live in Canada, you can put in a little auxiliary heat. A little heat goes a long way. You could use a propane heater. Um, you can use a wood-burning stove. Um, obviously, you couldn't use a solar heater because you're not getting enough sun anyway. There's a thing called a climate battery where we blow hot air through the soil at three different levels. But again, you'll need sunshine to run that. And also, in cloudy days, you might want to add some extra lighting in the form of very, very energy-efficient LED lights. But what we found is that the growing dome uses about a third of the amount of heat uh, that a regular greenhouse would use. Then in the summer, the opposite situation is in place. You're trying to get rid of the heat. And because the dome has automatic windows, the water tank, etc., etc., it really performs very, very well. But in fairly hot climates, you might want to add some shade cloth. Uh, people have put on a screen door. Uh, ceiling fans, uh, swamp coolers, and even a misting system. But the plants themselves are the most efficient way to cool the growing dome. Have big foliage plants in the summer, things like tomatoes, squash, peppers, beans, etc. Those really, really help to keep the dome cool. But the systems that come with the dome really are designed in an average climate to produce a year-round growing space. Size, most people say, well, what size shall I get? And our most popular size is the 26-foot diameter, and that feeds a family with enough to give away to some friends and neighbors. But um, you might be able to, according to your pocket, afford something bigger and uh, start to share around your neighborhood and uh, people say, well, how soon can I get a return on my investment? And depending on your gardening skills and the value of the crops that you might grow, you could pay, repay the investment in as little as 2.5 years. But most people aren't really obsessed with that kind of thing. They just have a, a place to enjoy being and... Uh, the money isn't that much importance. But for those who it is, you know, the growing dome can repay the cost of itself over and over again. I had a dome owner who, who got a dome 15 years ago and he came to me the other day and said it was one of the most best investments he'd ever made. He just loves having fresh greens all winter long. So you need a fairly flat area, although if you live on a slope, you can level out the slope. Uh, best to have a south-facing slope, some good solar exposure. And, uh, you know, the climate that you have, the growing dome can pretty well cope with most climates. It is a solar-powered structure, though, so if you get a lot of cloud in the winter, you are going to have to add some auxiliary heat. The size we already talked about. Building permits, some building Departments re, uh, regard the dome as a agricultural structure, and so you don't need a permit. And uh, because it doesn't have a foundation, some building departments require um, regard it as a 
a temporary structure. So we can help you work with the building department. And then in terms of installation and foundation, um, we, uh, after you've chosen your site and taken these things into the into consideration, the levelness of the ground, the drainage, what kind of vegetation is around and how far you want it away from your house, then you would start to look at what's included in the kit. And so essentially what we try to do is provide a very, very comprehensive kit that has everything you need to put the dome together, the hubs, all the different structural members, all the hardware, the panels, the tape to seal the panels, the north wall insulation, the automatic windows with the openers, all the things for the under soil heating system, the solar panel, the fan, the distribution box, and then the hardware plus the liner for making your own water tank. But some of these items that are needed for the complete dome structure are very, very bulky, like blue board is a very bulky and expensive item to ship and easily available locally. Same with sheet metal for the water tank. Uh, so some of these things are identified on what we call a locally supplied list, and we give that list to you, and you can just go to the local hardware, order those things, and have them delivered ready for your dome build when the kit comes to you. Well, you might ask, how do I get my growing dome? And most of the time, we load the dome kit into two crates, a large crate that contains the polycarbonate panels and all the hardware that looks somewhat like this, and then another crate that contains all the lumber. And normally these would come to you on a freight truck, but occasionally if you're going to have your dome installed and it's fairly close to Pagosa Springs, we will show up with a truck and trailer and bring your dome to you along with the crew ready to install your dome. We'll contact you ahead of time and make sure that you understand how to be prepared for the dome to be unloaded and that you're all ready and we'll guide you through it step by step. So you may be asking the question, will I need a building permit for my growing dome greenhouse? Well, different building departments have different requirements. Some regard the structure as an agricultural structure and the requirements are very minimal. And usually it's a lot less strict than it would be if you're building a house because it's a greenhouse. We do have complete sets of plans for every size of dome. And these are stamped by an engineer that they will withstand 60 pounds per square foot snow load and a 100 mile an hour wind load. So in terms of foundation, <clears throat> uh, the simplest type of foundation is simply a ring of compacted gravel that is in the shape of the footprint of the dome. And we'll send you drawings to show you the accurate measurements of how big this gravel ring needs to be. Uh, we have um, a center peg here. And then all around, we have pegs that mark the corners of the dome structure. And so you put the ring of gravel around and compact it and then build the dome on top of that. For the bigger domes, we might want to do concrete piers in the ground. And here are some of those. And the dome is anchored with an anchor bolt through the bottom plate of the wall into the piers. And then the dome is built and they help support the dome structure. And then other people have chosen a concrete foundation, a full poured concrete foundation, a little more expensive. But if you use insulation on the outside and the inside using insulated concrete forms, then the whole foundation becomes a hugely insulated thermal mass that helps to keep the dome warm throughout the cold winter months. So that's a very, very excellent way to anchor the dome and have it very, very insulated. 
So now we get to the exciting part. How do I install my growing dome? And there are three methods uh, that we work with you on. One is a self-install, where we ship you the growing dome kit, and you work with our manual, video. We have very comprehensive instructions. All the members of the kit are color-coded and pre-drilled, pre-cut to size, and it just needs putting together with a screw gun, a ratchet, hammer and so on. So that's a very wonderful way to do it. Probably take you two or three weekends and gives you lots of satisfaction. The next way is to hire a supervisor from Growing Spaces. He will come out and direct a crew of your choosing, perhaps friends, family, local construction folk, and they will put the dome together under his supervision. He works really hard and it goes really fast because he's done this many, many times and doesn't have to uh, think about it like you would have to if you're doing your own dome. The third method is a full crew from Growing Spaces, and if you're fairly close to Pagosa, they would bring the dome kit to you and build it. Otherwise, they would fly out and build your dome on site. The 33-foot dome is rather a complex dome and rather large, and so over the years, we've found that it's actually very beneficial to have a supervisor plus one uh, to help put this dome together. And the 42, much more complex and rather tricky. And so we require a full crew from growing spaces to come and put this dome together. It will go together in five days or so. And I think you'd be very, very happy to choose this option. So. That's about it, so happy building and happy growing. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this journey through growing spaces and our growing dome greenhouses. So come join us in the wonderful world of the growing dome. Just pick up a phone and give us a call. Have a wonderful day.